For all his fame and celebration, William Shakespeare remains a mysterious figure with regards to personal history. There are just two primary sources for information on the bard, his works and various legal and church documents that have survived from Elizabethan times. Naturally, there are many gaps in this body of information which tells us little about Shakespeare, the man. Well, in 2004, we integrated ticketing in South East Queensland, so we introduced a paper uh, ticket that allowed you to travel across all the three modes in South East Queensland, so bus, train and ferry. And the second stage of uh, integrated ticketing is the introduction of a smart card. And the smart card will enable people to store value, uh, so to, to put uh, value on the card and then to use the card for travelling around the system. In animals, a movement is coordinated by a cluster of neurons in the spinal cord called the central contract pattern generator. This produces signals that drive muscles to contract rhythmically in a way that produces running or walking, depending on the pattern of pulses. A simple signal from the brain instructs the CGP to switch between different modes such as going from a standstill to walking. Why do we need more entrepreneurs right now? The entrepreneurs who create and run our businesses, who play by the rules, are in fact critical to our success as a nation. We need them especially today. Business, not government, will end this recession. Government must help by creating fair rules, sound monetary policy, and by protecting our fellow citizens in periods when they are jobless. We have to make way for the new entrepreneurial firms that will push us to frontiers of innovation.
An economist sees the world basically through a typical microeconomic toolkit. That involves things like thinking at the margin, rationality, opportunity cost, trade-offs. Economists like any other discipline rules, and its own way of seeing the world. So basically economics, or economists in general tend to apply microeconomic concepts like that to explain the way humans behave and to make predictions about the future. Popular ride-sharing firm Uber has had its license to operate in London revoked in a surprise move by the city's regulator. There were multiple reasons for the decision. TfL cited the company's approach to reporting criminal offences. In August, a senior officer within London's Metropolitan Police Service wrote to TfL about Uber's slowness to report a passenger's accusation that her driver had sexually assaulted her. TfL said it was also concerned about how Uber obtained medical certificates and criminal record checks for drivers. The straw that broke the camel's back may have been the company's grey ball software, an internal application that Uber may have used to block regulators' oversight of the Uber app. Ebola virus, the bacteria that causes plague, a pandemic strain of flu. If any of these pathogens could be turned into bioweapons by terrorists or rogue nation states, they would threaten humanity. Most life scientists have little awareness of biosecurity issues, according to a National Academy's report released today. And it says there are multiple shortcomings in the systems designed to stop potentially risky research from being published.